Hey Yuri, welcome back to our Ratchet Clank 3 Let's Play. In the last episode, we did the first part of Planet Dax where we went and got the charge route switch yes. over there. And then when we got to the point where there's two, there two ways we could go, we went to the right. So in this episode, we will be going to the left of this like floating elevator pad. Is where we were in this episode. The lock-on mod is really helpful. Right, the lock-on mod on the uh, on the N60 now is really helpful. Because it means you can know how much damage we're doing specifically. Launcher. Do a couple of nice little snipes there. Use a natural launcher. Got it. But that na the nice one is so close now to be in um, the next um, B level. That's nice. All I'll go at the moment and pop the sector for immediate. Wonder if they don't want to uh, report for immediate. Um... No, he did. He did grab one. Plus, we got zapped right in. I got it out again now. Oh, we do it as well. That's like really annoying. Oh, they are, why do all the enemies reform? How? How? Trying to trying to get back to where we should be because I made I made the mistake of the, I made a mess up the jump. Oh, before. Makes the explosion even bigger.
If we do that, then we can switch to the sniper. I'm gonna go back to the natural launcher. It's a very powerful weapon now. <laughs> Put it that way, it's very, the weapon's now very powerful. Doing that measure where if we get if we landed close to the edge, they didn't just like zapples. Time to use the hacker. We need ten to complete the whisper. Stage two. Need fifteen for this next one. There we go. The door now opens. Under on the Doing security breach. There's no security breach. We're all friends here. That's nice. I just wanted a nice visit. And this is a different intruder. That's not just me. So we're going to use the hacker again. Where it went too far. It went slightly too far with, with that. Yeah, this stage 2 is 10.
Imagine it. The Nitron Genote is so powerful. So did you see how much damage that was doing? That, that, it just, it was like eight of them, it just basically went pop. <laughs> They always have like, they have like loads of bolt crates lying around. Maybe they're not the greatest of Betty's after all, if they're just leaving all these bolts lying around. But anybody can get them. So this is three stages. Three stages. Oh, I went too far. I didn't go to. Uh, I went too far. Left to Rudy Joshua. Let's have that again. Uh, that's really annoying. I went one fraction of one too far. Ah. There we go, we'll go past stage one. So no, stage two is now back to being 15. No, it was running the opposite side. There we go. Do you think at times the order of how many green ones to red ones can change? If you fail a lot, it might go. I think mean, at times feels like it gets a bit. It gets a bit like, oh, he's failed, he failed, he failed some more time cool. There we go. Yes, the open. This terminal should give us high level access to all of Nefarious's project files. Cool. Ooh. I found something. I am afraid it does not look good. Bio obliterator? Huh. I see what you mean. That doesn't look good. What exactly does it do? That information Ob has been deleted. Bio obliterating? Well, where is this thing? Location unknown. However, a large transport vessel left this facility yesterday. It was headed for the Obani Moon System. The Obani Moon. By order of Dr. The Nefarious, Obani Moon System. Fridays have been cancelled indefinitely. Which will be what we head to in this episode. So yeah, he's building a bio obliterator. That doesn't sound good. But that'll be of course where we end today's episode, so thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!